see our Lord, beloved Supreme. You see in me countless imperfections. When you look at me, I do the same. You do not see in me the presence of God. I do not see you in the presence of God. You do not see anything divine in me, inspiring, aspiring, illumining and fulfilling. Alas, I also fail to see any, any, anything divine, inspiring, aspiring, illumining and fulfilling. Both of us fail, O oh Lord, beloved Supreme. You and I have the same Lord. You think you know when you feel that your God is omnipresent and omniscient and omnipotent. I too see and feel the same, but when you think of me, when you look at me, you think I am imperfection incarnate, I am past correction. You forget that your God is omnipotent. If so is his will, he can perfect my life in the twinkling of an eye. Similarly, when I see in you countless imperfections and fail to see the presence, loving, benevolent presence in the Lord, beloved Supreme, I too. Forget the fact that my God, whom I claim to be my God, is omnipotent. If your God is omnipotent, if my God is omnipotent, how is it then we cannot feel, we cannot have faith in God's power? Supreme. You can pray to God for my perfection. I can pray to God for your perfection. This is one way for us to make God happy. Although it may take a long time for you to see my perfection, vice versa, for me also to see perfection in you. But the very fact that you and I are praying mutually for our mutual perfection will make our Lord, our beloved Supreme, happy far beyond our imagination. You and I are the same God, yet we disagree most of the time, we quarrel and fight. You and I go pray to God for happiness. We pray to God and we speak to God. We tell God, O oh God, please make, you say to God, Please make me happy first, then I shall make you happy. You please fulfill all my teeming desires. Once I am happy, then I shall make you happy, O oh Lord Supreme. This is your prayer. I too have the same exact prayer. I 
Say to my Lord Supreme, my Lord, please fulfill my desires first. All my desires, please fulfill. <laughs> then I shall definitely make you happy. First make me happy and I am going to make you happy. Unfailingly, undoubtedly. Here, in this case, you and I are sailing in the same boat. We want our happiness first and then God's happiness. But God says to us, since you are begging me for happiness to be with me, it is you who have to make me first, happy first, not the other way around. And again God says to us, my children, if I make you happy, it will be the happiness of you. It will be the fulfillment of your desired lives. No matter how many times I fulfill your desires in order to make you happy, I will not be able to make you happy. Never. But if you do make me happy first, on the strength of your spiritual life, then you will feel that my happiness, in my happiness alone, your happiness can be discovered, for I am the source of all happiness. So please, my children, be wise, make me happy first. And then you are bound to be happy, and this happiness will last forever. You and I have the same God. You want to see perfection in me. I want to see perfection in you. By praying, by speaking to God, day in, day out, against me, do you not think you are displeasing God, irritating God? For He is all compassion for both of us. Again, I do the same. I speak ill of you to God at every moment. And I think by making, by speaking ill of you, I am making my point clear to God and making God feel I am far better than you. Oh no, that is not the way my Lord Supreme tells me. We have to see only the divine qualities in each other to make our Lord Supreme happy. And our imperfection natures, imperfect natures, nature can only be transformed by His compassion heart and forgiveness. By His compassion eye and forgiveness heart. You and I have the same God. You are God thirsty and God hungry. This is absolutely true. I too am God thirsty and God hungry. But if our hunger is genuine, in every day the moment we want to be fed and nourished by God's nectar delight, by His infinite compassion, infinite love and light, and delight, then can you have even a fraction of a moment to think of each other? When I think of you, I think of your imperfections, your weaknesses, but you do the same. So here, who is our God? We pray to God for five minutes a day, but we think of each other. 
Can I still most of the day? When you accept the spiritual life, they make a fervent promise to a soul, to a heart, to a dinner life, to a dinner pilot, that we should always think of God, the Lord, the beloved Supreme. Here, instead of thinking of a Lord, beloved Supreme, at every moment, you think of me. Daily, for hours, and I also do the same. And you think of God for ten minutes, ten minutes a day. I do exactly the same, not a minute more than you. So we have made each other our God, and poor God, the real God, is buried in oblivion, in our ignorance, my and ignorance life. No, my friend, Saints who wish to sail in the same boat, the boat of aspiration which will lead us to destined goal, golden shore. Let us believe in our oneness education. Let us start today with our oneness education. This oneness education is founded upon our Aspiration, mutual aspiration, reciprocal dedication. Together we must aspire. In spite of our weaknesses, difficulties and imperfections, together we must raise our consciousness to high, higher and highest heights. Together let us sail in the same boat that will re carry us to our path, that will take us to our destination, goal and soul. Your beloved Supreme is eagerly waiting for our arrival. Let us make him happy in his own way. And his own way means our oneness <coughs> education. Oneness. Perfection. One satisfaction.